We never start countersinking without first setting up our tools on a piece of scrap. What I have here is a micro stop countersink, and I can tell which size I have by looking at the size of the pilot. It's going to be hard to see on the video, but this one is just big enough to fit a number four rivet, and this one is just big enough to fit a number three rivet. And these are going to carve the edge, the countersink, that the uh, rivet goes into. But I'm going to have to make sure that they're the proper depth. So they get chucked onto my drill. And then I hang on to them by hand and I feed that into the countersink hole. And I work in until it won't countersink anymore. Now, the next thing I need to do is grab my little rivet and I need to see, is my countersink the right amount or did I go too deep? Now again, it's going to be hard to see, but I can see, uh, looking here, that this is much, much too deep. I need to make this countersink shallower. To make it shallower, I come across, I lift this up, and I screw it out. Each of these little castellations here is worth a thousandth of an inch, which is why it's called a microstop. And now I'm going to try it again, and we're going to see how my rivet looks the second time. All right, that looks a lot closer from here. We'll see how it looks when the rivet goes in. And when I put the rivet in, oh, I can just catch my thumbnail on the edge. This is a little too shallow now. I need it in between those two. So this one was too big, this one was too small, and if we do it right, this one will be just right. Thanks, Goldilocks. Okay, so I need it to go down a little bit, so I'm gonna screw backwards one click, two clicks. How about we try three thousands, three clicks. And here we are, ready for our try number three on our microstop countersink. Grab our rivet, hold it up to the edge. I think we can still go another, uh, another click or two in. So we'll keep working on it. What we really want to do, one click, two click, there we are. We really want to make sure that it's flush, because that's the whole point of a flush rivet. So, last try. At least the last one I drilled a hole for, so I hope it's right. And yes, there it is. I can tell it's flush, it runs right across there. And I want this to be right at the surface, or it can be up to about two thousandths above the surface. But if you can catch your thumbnail on it, it's not flush.